What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the full 90 and it is finally time for the Champions League quarterfinal predictions. Now it's been a while since I've made a Champions League video. A lot of people re-uploaded videos doing their updated predictions for the remaining games in the round of 16. I just left my old video how it was and before we get into the quarterfinals first of all please drop a like on this video. Let's smash 200 likes for the Champions League quarterfinal but let's look back at the round of 16 because I think this was probably my most successful video across the board as far as predictions go obviously excluding the FA Cup final where I got it perfectly right and the Europa League semi-final from last year where I got both scores perfectly right this was a bit different because obviously there are far more fixtures but in my opinion I absolutely nailed it so the first game was RB Leipzig up against Tottenham uh, obviously RB Leipzig looking very different back then with Timo Werner still in the team I predicted a 2-0 win to Leipzig it ended in a 3-0 win Valencia against At Atalanta uh, was the only one that I didn't get right uh, but I was sort of close with the way the game panned out I predicted a 3-2 win to Valencia Valencia did score three goals but Atalanta scored four so it was a 4-3 win to Atalanta Liverpool versus Atletico Madrid I predicted that Atletico Madrid would knock Liverpool out I predicted a 2-1 win to Liverpool it ended up being a 1-0 win to Liverpool PSG against Borussia Dortmund again I predicted PSG would knock Borussia Dortmund out with a two goal winning margin I predicted 3-1 it ended in a 2-0 and then we had the fixtures post sort of lockdown everything like that where I absolutely nailed it and if it wasn't for the disallowed goal in the Chelsea game I would have got every single score exactly right I correctly predicted Juventus to beat Leon two goals to one uh, with a bit of Cristiano Ronaldo magic I even said in the video but Leon would still knock out Juventus on away goals I got that perfectly right I predicted that Manchester City would once again beat Real Madrid two goals to one I correctly predicted that Barcelona would be happy with a draw in Naples and would therefore take the win at the new Camp winning three goals to one and that's exactly Exactly what they did and then the Bayern Munich Chelsea game I predicted a 4-2 win to Bayern Munich and it ended four goals to one because the second goal that Chelsea scored or originally the first goal uh, was just offside so very very close three exact scores multiple more correct winners and honestly I just feel like I nailed that so let's hope for the same sort of success in uh, this round uh, of the quarterfinals of the Champions League kicking it off we do have Atalanta up against PSG now I'm not entirely sure whether or not Kylian Mbappe is still a doubt based on his injury uh, when that he um, picked up in the semi-final, I think, of the French Cup against St. Etienne. Right at the end, it did look pretty nasty. He was on crutches by the end, but they were confident back then that he would be ready for this game. And obviously, it's a few days in the future that they're playing, so there is no injury news at the moment at the time of recording. I am going to assume that he does play, but even if he doesn't, I do think PSG will just have enough to get over the line. I don't see Atalanta drawing a blank here. I think they're going to score. I think PSG do have some defensive issues to worry about, much like a lot of teams actually in the Champions League. Barcelona, you know, I think everyone's got a little defensive blip in them occasionally. I think PSG are going to win this one. I'm going to go for a 2-1. I think if Kylian Mbappe is playing, PSG will find some way to qualify. But if not, it could be very, very spicy and very, very entertaining. It's going to be a really close game, I can assure you of that one. Now, the next one is even more interesting, arguably. It's RB Leipzig up against Atletico Madrid. Now, RB Leipzig, obviously without Timo Werner now because he has joined Chelsea. But Atletico Madrid currently facing some coronavirus scares because I believe two of the... I don't know if they're players or staff. I'm not sure if that's confirmed confirmed yet but they were tested positive for coronavirus so Atletico Madrid at the time of recording haven't yet traveled to Lisbon for the match and uh, they're currently awaiting test results of the entire squad so if we see a lot of positive test results in the Atletico Madrid squad it, it's it's possible that RB Leipzig just get a bye in this round so bear that in mind but for the purpose of this prediction I'm going to go with a, a relatively full strength squad for both sides Werner out from Leipzig of course and Atletico Madrid I assume that the positive cases of COVID-19 aren't any of their main players. I feel like I would have heard more about it. So I'm going to go for basically full strength teams either way. And I think it's going to be a very close game. RB Leipzig, when they were at their free flowing best with Werner up top, they were scoring goals after goals after goals. But then towards the end of the Bundesliga campaign and even before the restart, they, they've had lower scoring games, winning one or two nil there. And that plays into the hands of Atletico Madrid perfectly because they love keeping things tight. And I think the fact that this is a one-legged quarterfinal instant knockout means that no team is going to risk too much and Atletico Madrid wouldn't do that in you know two-legged ties anyway so I think with the experience of Madrid 
I, I believe they're going to go through. I'm going to go for a low scoring 1 0 away win to Atletico Madrid. It's possible Leipzig could score. Maybe it could be a 1 1 draw. I think Atletico Madrid would still do whatever's necessary to get through to the semi finals and what a, what a run they would have if they could keep going in this competition. But I think Leipzig without Werner, not quite a full strength uh, in that sense. I think they're just going to fall short here up against Atletico Madrid. Now, the next tie. Probably the most exciting of the tournament and a big decider in perhaps how uh, the, the, the final could shape up. It's Barcelona up against Bayern Munich. Barcelona looked pretty convincing in their in their win over Napoli, but sort of back to the way you'd expect Barcelona to be, which is just exactly how I predicted in the round of 16 leg. Bayern Munich the same, despite already being three goals up on Chelsea. Efficiency destruction scoring four goals again like I predicted although Barcelona looked good uh, Suarez was an injury doubt but ended up playing anyway uh, I do think Bayern Munich just looked too good I was going to go for a 3-1 win to Bayern Munich but I'm going to give Barcelona a little bit more recent history Bayern Munich do have the better record against Barcelona I think winning four of the last five meetings between the two teams one of the wins was sort of uh, it wasn't really, it didn't really actually help them because they were so far behind on aggregate thanks to the one Barcelona win in the last uh, in the last five meetings between the two teams. But I think Bayern Munich are looking very, very good. And I think they'll be just a little bit too much for a slightly laboured Barcelona defence. Nothing against, you know, Messi, Suarez, Griezmann, even he has good games here and there. You never know. Uh, their attacking is great, but their defence, not so much. A little bit of a weakness for them. And with, the, with Robert Lewandowski up top for Bayern Munich, I don't see... Barcelona keeping them quiet for very long. So I'm going to go for a 3-2 win to Bayern Munich, sending them through into the semi-finals against the winner of Manchester City up against Lyon. Now, I've given Lyon a goal here. I think Lyon have been playing very, very well. Just like I predicted, they managed to keep Juventus out for less than three goals, sending them through thanks to the early penalty from Memphis Depay, making it two goals to one. And Lyon in the French Cup final against PSG, they kept it at nil-nil the entire way, losing on penalties after that. So I think Lyon, they're a decent team, but obviously Man City, they're favourites to win the whole tournament. And I think the winner of the semi-final between between what I believe to be City and Bayern Munich will win the entire tournament. Uh, I think Man City will be too much for Lyon. They do have those little defensive mistakes. Uh, so I think I'm going to give Lyon a goal, but I think it will be in the end futile. And Manchester City will take the win three goals to one. So if that pans out and if I if my predictions were as accurate as they were in the round of 16, uh, I, I will have a semi-final of PSG versus Atletico Madrid. Super attack versus super defense. And then Bayern Munich versus Manchester City. Just super attack. Loads of goals. Very, very exciting. And I've said for a long time, I think Bayern Munich will win the whole thing. And I think their experience in Europe might just be able to give them the edge against Manchester City in a semi-final. But then again, you never know. Because Man City looked really good against Real Madrid, to be fair. And uh, they could have scored a few more goals than they actually did. So that is going to do it for my quarterfinal predictions of the Champions League. Please do... Drop yours down in the comments below because I'm always intrigued to see if you guys agree with me, disagree with me. You might have Atalanta knocking out PSG. It would be such a PSG thing to do to get knocked out of the uh, the knockouts in the Champions League. RB Leipzig, Atletico Madrid, it's a tough one to call. Barcelona could really turn up and just beat Bayern Munich. They could win the whole thing. It's all up in the air. Obviously, you know my opinion. I think Bayern Munich are going to win the tournament, but... I'm very excited to see. So leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe and turn on the bell. We're on our way to 10,000 subscribers. And of course, with all these European fixtures, there's going to be tons of videos coming your way and you do not want to miss them. But that is going to do it from me. And I will see you in the next video very soon.